So Hamza Chimaev is crazy. He's not normal. <laughs> That's too easy. I do smash somebody, you get money, brother. It's <laughs> perfect for me. And his hype train is entirely, entirely justified. First of all, let's get something straight. Hamzat is Chechen. This is Chechenia. This is Dagestan. Same region, same lifestyle, same geography, and they're both part of the Russian Federation. But the Chechen Republic is under US sanctions. This is one of the reasons why we don't see so many Chechen fighters in the UFC. There are a ton of them in the ACA, which coincidentally pays fighters in cash, so a lot of them probably don't feel all that inclined to make it to the UFC anyway. Hamzat, however, has Swedish papers. That's why there's a Swedish flag next to his name. Formerly trained under Joachim Engberg in Gothenburg, and currently trains under Reza Madadi in Stockholm. But like most Caucasian fighters, he got his start in wrestling, while also competing in judo and sambo. He hasn't been in Sweden all that long. He only moved there when he was 19. People immediately jump to the Habib comparisons, and I normally think these comparisons are off base. But Hamzat's style really does seem to be in the vein of Habib. The way he uses the cage, the way he uses the Dagestani handcuff, the way he locks up his opponent's legs and lets them be silly enough to try to get up, and even his carrying his opponent and slamming them right next to his corner so he can hear their instruction. This of course harkens back to when Habib did this against Pat Healy. I've spent 20 long minutes watching the entirety of Chimaev's career with Brave, and there is something different about him that I just can't quite put my finger on. Hamzat seems crazier, more violent, more mean even. He holds onto this choke forever. The ref can't get a good view of the guy's face, but he's out of it. Chimaev is holding on even after the ref calls the fight. How can you not feel a guy going limp right in your arms? He knocks this guy out cold. The fight is over here. The guy is unconscious. But Hamzat gives him a parting gift before the referee comes between them. It's not that these scenes are rare for the sport. In fact, they're the norm. It's actually far more rare to see someone actually show restraint. But contrast this with Khabib's earlier career, when he was mostly just smothering guys and playing around with them. And you quickly see the difference. There are some things Hamzat is doing right now that simply has not been done before. He fought on July 15th at middleweight. He then cut to 170 pounds and fought just 10 days later, on July 25th. He absorbed a total of two strikes in these two fights. It really serves no point to qualify this achievement by saying his competition was not strong, because nobody's ever done this before. You cannot deny or ignore what he's done here. So would you be open to face him? He's a welterweight. I hope he stays there. <laughs> and after all this, he wants to fight again in three weeks at UFC 252. This man does not care. Just based on this behavior alone, I absolutely believe him when he says he tried to go to Ireland to fight Conor McGregor. Hamzat is about that life. There's nothing much else to say about it. And the hype is absolutely warranted. And it will be interesting to see how long he can keep up this insane streak of frequent competition. It doesn't matter for me. I like these guys. I think he's bound for bound number one. He's 28 wins. Like, yeah. But soon, I'm gonna be bound for bound number one. I'm gonna be champion.